welcome back to this special edition of Tech Report. We're talking tech careers this week and exploring the many options that are out there. There are new products on the shelves and up for sale online virtually every week. But have you ever stopped to wonder who actually designs and makes them? We have, and Jason has the lowdown. Amazing products don't grow on trees. Well, and it's of course we're talking about fruit, but we're not. Who was that? Oh yeah, designers, innovators, and ideas people, the clever creative souls who are able to take an idea, make it real, and more importantly, make it user friendly. If you're the kind of person who designs clever ways to automate dog feeding, or programs your homemade robots to do your chores for you, then engineering might be a career to consider. Engineers are practical humans who get to grips with solutions to real-world problems. Originally we hand-built a prototype of the Arc Aqua system and we put that into the market for testing and we realized that we had to make the system that it could be mass-produced. So we approached Skeg Product Development in Cape Town and we took the product from a concept to something that is commercially scale scalable into the local and international market. Uh, product development typically or traditionally can incorporate certain engineering disciplines. Normally, traditionally, we would have mechanical engineers and electrical engineers doing the technology side. We would also have industrial designers and graphic designers who are doing more of the soft aspects like the uh, styling. And we would also have, um, well, there's a new brand or new discipline of guys coming out of the colleges now and the technicons and universities called Mechatronic, which is a combination of mechanical and electronic. And we're finding that they have a, a very strong niche, a very nice niche here in product development. All right, there's some things to consider here. Maths is a vital part of engineering. And I'm not just talking about any old maths, no, not like five plus six. No, no, this is high-flown stuff. It's very demanding and not for the faint-hearted. Now, degree courses are typically four years long and most of this time will be spent mastering mathematical concepts. So if you want to do this, you really got to like numbers. For somebody going into uh, engineering, math is obviously extremely important. I wouldn't say that you're doing hardcore mathematics on a day-to-day -day basis, but it's, it's sort of like taking English in high school. It seems like there might not be any direct application, but having that background, that foundation, is essential. Uh, I would say that you shouldn't overlook it, but don't be afraid that uh, going into engineering or uh, into product development that you would be doing hardcore physics and mathematics. It's not really like that. I would say that most engineering taking place incorporates a large aspect of um, technical know-how and hands-on, uh, learning to work with pro different processes and suppliers and off of catalogs and combining. It's really about creative thinking and, and, and lateral thinking and bringing, bringing what you know to bear to solve problems creatively. Engineering is a vast discipline that touches virtually every part of business and society. It's a very exciting area to be focused in because the variety of projects that you deal with changes from day to day. So if you feel that that is the kind of exciting, the dynamic environment you want to be in, um, you just need to find the discipline that you feel more, most passionate about and keep looking into it. Um, you know, whether it's electrical engineering or me mechanical engineering, you would have uh, civil engineers who would be building our roads and bridges, and there could be aeronautical engineers as well who specialize in designing aircraft, nautical engineers as well designing boats, cruise liners, or maybe it's the more artistic styling and industrial designing. Uh, all of those can be, can fit nicely into product development. Okay, look, I'm gonna be honest. The prospect of having to do four years of heavy maths makes me break out into a cold sweat. But I am happy that there are those who are able to embrace it. I mean, after all, without engineers, there's no roads, there's no robots, there's not any, any beer. <laughs> and as South Africa is to grow to its full potential, we need to nurture that rare talent for innovation and problem solving.